Hello everybody, welcome back to the second channel. Take a look at these Greg pillows, dude! We got Greg pillows! Greg pillows in the background. You guys thought I didn't want Greg letters in the background anymore. Look at these sick freaking pillows I got. Thank you to Helpful Mig on TikTok for making these pillows. They fit the couch perfectly in all honesty. I'm really stoked about those pillows. So, thank you for making them, Helpful Mig. And I hope you guys like them. Anyway, welcome back to the second channel. Today we're going to be talking about some of the weirdest YouTube shorts that I could find on YouTube. So crack open a sparkling water and we'll crack into these TikTok or YouTube shorts. YouTube has been pushing YouTube shorts like crazy. I'm kind of curious to know if anybody who watches this like watches YouTube shorts. Not, I'm not trying to be judgy in any way. I'm just like, I'm just curious because they're pushing them so much to see if it's actually working. I was going through YouTube's list of the top 500 YouTubers over the past 30 days. And if you click on like half of these channels, they only post YouTube shorts. So like all of the people that are being subscribed to the most right now are like just YouTube shorts channel. That's how much YouTube is pushing this shit in our faces. They want, they're like, you will watch YouTube shorts instead of TikTok. But because YouTube is just kind of like pushing anybody that posts YouTube YouTube shorts. There's a lot of weird channels that end up doing really well on YouTube now just because they're like one of the few that are just cranking out YouTube shorts and posting them on YouTube. So I just scrolled down this list of like the top YouTubers over the past 30 days and I clicked on some of them that just post YouTube shorts. So let's get into it. First of all, these folks called Moni Lena now have 6.5 million subscribers. They created their channel in May of last year and they already have 6 million subscribers. That's how hard YouTube is pushing YouTube shorts. So let's go ahead and check out some of their TikToks and find out like is YouTube's heavy endorsement of YouTube shorts paying off with some quality content. My voice did not crack, that was in your head. What did she think was gonna happen? She's like, okay, I'm eating ice cream and my husband is handcuffing me. And then she gets handcuffed and she's like, wait, now I can't move my arms independently of each other. What the fuck? How did you do this? You wizard, you tricked me. She could have moved her hands away if she wanted to. That, that didn't restrict her from moving her arms at all. She could have just gone like this and been like, no. He could have gotten the ice cream by just grabbing her hand and putting it in his mouth because he is already grabbing her hand anyway. So he could have just done that without tying her up for I guess his, his aim was to humiliate her and then take her ice cream. Is this an ad for this ice cream? Why is this laying out like this? I don't know about you guys, but I'm about to freaking fly to Russia and buy one of these because I'm being advertised to so hard. Is this Russian? We'll never know. OMG left without candies. Okay, so the guy's moving around the bucket. She's got to pick which one has the lollipop in it. She picked the wrong one because that one doesn't have the lollipop in it. And it has actually more than the lollipop in it. Okay. So he's a magician in this one too. Are all of their TikToks just about the guy being the most clever guy in the world and the girl being the dumbest girl in the world? Just tricking her constantly and she is just at wit's end trying to figure out how the fuck he's doing it. What a sad existence. OMG, you can't joke with your wife. Is this TikTok about to be about like cancel culture? Wait, what? You can't even joke with your own wife anymore? You walk into the room and she's eating a cucumber and you call her a slur? You're not even allowed to joke with your wife anymore? Come on, dude. People are so PC these days. <laughs> oh no, he hits her. You can't even hit your wife anymore! As a joke! As a joke, I did it. And then she hits back. So you can't even joke with your wife anymore because she might hit you back. The lady is cute and good looking. Yo, dude, is your wife single? Because uh, I think I have an interested party here. I am done, dude. I am done joking with my wife via flip-flop violence. Okay, well, you know what? She actually seems to be the clever one in this TikTok, so I guess they, they do kind of go back and forth. Sometimes the guy has 100 IQ points on his wife, and sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes it is the guy getting slapped with the cucumber, that age-old saying. One interesting thing about YouTube shorts is that when you click on one and then you scroll it just starts playing random shit that you're not interested in at all Okay, that guy's actually magic. What the fuck? How did he do that? Dan Rhodes. Okay, I was actually kind of expecting to see a TikTok that didn't interest me at all, but this one actually did pique my curiosity. I think there's a little divider in there. You can see this little part of the cup straight line right here. I think that's dividing and there was juice hiding behind that. That's my little theory about this one. But apparently a really big format on TikTok is to do something amazing near a girl and she's gonna be mad impressed and you're kind of like, yeah, I just do that. I just do stuff like that. I actually didn't expect that to happen. I don't know how I I did that. Well, 
Wait, what? So is this a cat trying out viral life hacks or something? I don't guess it's not a life hack. How to make a squishy carrot. You know, you, you always want to do that, but it takes forever. Here's sort of a DIY way, DIY life hack way to do it. Okay, but the cat is clearly pouring in Coke and it's said to do Pepsi. So actually, we're not sure if this one works. What a strange idea for a YouTube channel. That little pup. He just tries out viral things. I don't even know how to classify these. Life hack crafts. They're just like things that you can do. Viral things that you didn't know you could do. And also that you can't do. It doesn't work. The people who make these videos must have like little fake cat paws that they use to do all this stuff with. That's kind of strange. I mean, I guess more power to them. They're probably literally raking it in because they make YouTube short. Yeah, they've got 10 million subscribers and this cat is basically a celebrity now. Okay, back to uh, Moni Lena, the Mona Lisa. OMG, he thought the snake was his wife. Okay, that went a different direction than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a prank where he wakes up and gets scared by the snake. Maybe that's what the wife was expecting too. Do you think the wife is like, what the hell? You're supposed to realize it's not me. I'm not a snake. And the husband's like, mmm, I love my wife. My wife who is as thin as my wrists and covered in scales and slimy and biting me all the time. I love my little wife who hisses at me. Oh yeah, she is pissed off. The whole family is master in pranking each other after seeing their all videos. Conclusion, their daughter will be a great prankster in the future due to genes of parents. Damn, Zafar, are you a doctor? How do you know that? We got a doctor in the chat. Already diagnosing their daughter with being a genetically pure prankster. Have scientists figured out yet if being a good prankster is genetic or is that some, is that like a learned behavior? I think they're still trying to figure that out actually. I think that's kind of, I think that's a big field of study right now. Let's maybe look at like one of their most viewed videos. Oh my god, dude. 280 million views. 160 million views. They have so many videos with over 100 million views. OMG pee prank with shaving foam. What do you mean pee prank? Do they mean like piss prank? Or is that just a typo? Like a little stutter? Oh my god! A p -p 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 prank! They're so scared while writing it. With shaving foam! Monica. Monica. The fuck? Okay, for one, he looked directly into the barrel and there's no possible way you could have missed a white speck in the barrel unless you're incredibly behind. So I would put this as stage. Well done, Enzo. You figured it out. I feel like I said this in the last video I did about YouTube shorts, but it does make me like wonder, are we supposed to think it's real or is this just like a funny scenario? And even if we don't think it's real, it can still be, it can still be kind of funny. Cause like, I mean, like you can go watch a movie that's funny and you know it's not real and it can still be funny and I'm just explaining the concept of fiction to everybody at home. But you know, you know, I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe it's just like tiny, teeny, tiny little kids watching these videos and so they're like, yeah, this, this is probably real. Everything else I've experienced in life has led me to believe this is real. My parents are real, my friends are real. Everything is, everything I've ever seen is real. Blue's Clues is real. So I don't see any reason why this wouldn't be. <laughs> The fact that they added a laugh track into this one, it really says a lot, I think, honestly, about their process in making this video. Do you think they filmed this and they were like, oh, this is gonna be fucking hilarious, just as is. And then they watched it back later and they were like, wait, there's actually like not really a joke in this. There's actually just like a weird unsettling video. Do you think we should try to add in some kind of indication that it's supposed to be funny? And so they just added people laughing in the background. It's funny, yeah, it's funny, it's okay. We're fine. Mentally, we are okay, so you don't have to worry about us. It's funny, I'm watching his jacket. It. Most of the comments on this video are just like spam. In.comes.date? That's my new favorite dating website, you know? Before I was really into eHarmony.com, Match.com, ChristianMingle.com. Now I'm more into in.comes.date. It's on Uno's de los in.comes.date. I kind of want to click on it just to see what it is, but I know the second I do, my computer is going to explode with a virus. Someone responded, okay. All right, buddy. Sure. You are my favorite loves.com.date. YouTube has an insane spam problem. Can we talk about that? Like, I even notice it on my videos, but it seems like it's like 10 times worse on YouTube shorts that supposedly have hundreds of millions of views, but 90 comments and they're all spam. What the fuck is going on? Sweetpussy.uno? Barbie.monster? I didn't even know you could have URLs that look like this. Is this video just gonna become about spam on YouTube? Hotslut.uno. YouTube, fix your shit. Just make it so you can't put links in the, in the comments. Why would anyone ever need to put a link in the comments? Just don't 
don't just make it so they can't do that. And also maybe I mean if you are maybe just like ban words like cum and slut in the comments. I mean is that is it that is that hard? All right. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get back to the YouTube Shorts. I found another channel called Small, and for a second I was like these kind of look like Troom Troom videos. So I clicked on the channels to see if they were associated with Troom Troom, and they are actually associated with a channel called Bada Boom, not Troom Troom. I am a little bit suspicious that Bada Boom is also owned by Troom Troom, but there's no mention of that anywhere. But just like the aesthetic of their videos look very Troom Troom esque, so I'm not gonna rule it out. But anyway, let's check out some of Small's YouTube Shorts. Let's go straight for most popular. Helping others is important. Mobile game ads be like, and this also has 200 million views. This is like an insanely well-produced version of those videos that I made a video about with Drew and Curtis. But these ones actually look very well-produced and well-animated. I'm also noticing that the last YouTube channel we were looking at had like 90 comments on some videos. And this one has like a similar amount of views and has almost 6,000 comments. That's a little bit odd. Weird ways to sneak food into the movies and not get caught. Edible hair. I'll give it to him. That is a weird way to sneak food into the movies. You know, like how you go into a movie. It's like a club slash airport. That's what the movie theater is. No. Get out. Ugh. Also, is that one the candy detector? Oh shit, now he's in the movies. In the movies, you know, where they play loud music and you dance and get fucked up. The movie theater. Okay, I'm so confused because it's a club. They're in a club. But then why didn't they just make the title Weird Ways to Sneak Food into a Dance Party? Maybe they filmed this and then they were about to post it with that title, but they were like, wait, you actually can just bring a snack into a dance party if you want to. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you need to sneak food into a dance party? And so they changed it to the movies. Honestly, even though you can bring food to a dance party, this still is a weird way to sneak food into a dance party. It actually makes it weirder that you don't have to sneak it in. The fact that you could just bring the food and instead you like made a wig out of Twizzlers or whatever. You were like, no, now nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know when they brush up against me and I'm sticky and smell like strawberries. That my head, my whole hair is made out of candy. Oh, now it's gonna show us how to do it. I think I figured it out. I think you kind of put it on your head and you put a hat on and then you've got candy for hair. Amazing balloon trick number four. <laughs> a little too excited about that water balloon. <laughs> Not necessary. I'm so on the edge of my seat, dude. What is this amazing trick gonna be? Is it just that he built it up that much? That is pretty cool. Ready? Wow, that's amazing. Okay, that actually is pretty sick. The slow-mo shot was cool. I'll give them that. I just thought it was gonna be like a trick shot. Imagine if Dude Perfect videos were like this. They're like basketball trick shots and it's just them throwing the basketball off of a large thing onto the ground and it just hits the ground. Whoa, gravity still works. That's awesome. I was worried they were gonna stop doing that. Upside down prank. Dude, this channel is all over the place. Dude, they know what types of videos they make? What does the description of this channel say actually? Hello everybody, we are short, funny, and humorous videos on a variety of topics. You can say that again. If you like magic tricks, pranks, life hacks, vines, challenges, ASMR and much more than join us. We will not let you get bored, be sure. We will not let you get bored. If we even sense you starting to get bored from one of our videos, we're gonna come over there, strap you to your chair, we're gonna handcuff you with a belt, and we're gonna entertain you with some amazing water balloon tricks. Okay, looks like just a normal guy hanging out. A guy with the fattest hog known to man, mind you. Also, did you see his hands were feet? They really tried to hide those by putting them behind his head, but you could just see one sticking out like this and it was a foot. The girl comes in and she's like, yo, dab me up. And it's just a foot. That'd be funny, actually. That would be funny. This prank is funny. And what is going on here? What is this? This is very interesting. I don't know what that is. All right, that actually is fucking terrifying. I'll give him that. It's a good prank, okay? If you could actually get someone to fall for that, that's fucking terrifying. You see how that body was moving and convulsing on the bed? All right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.